finished with our very first day and the car won't start. <laughs> Figured, well, while it's plugged in and charging a little bit, we'll take a little walk around. So let's go see if it'll start. So it is the next morning after the farmer's market. We're back, we had a great time. Uh, I'm just doing a little bit of watering out here. I gotta get the trailer unloaded. I was not able to do it yesterday. Um, when we got home, me and Evelyn were just beat. And uh, yeah, I don't know, lack of water or just overstimulated or what, but we were both just wore out. Uh, we took naps and whew, man it was a lot had a big headache took a while to get over so yeah so got to get that all cleared out um i gotta go up here i'm really hoping it rains today it's kind of like threatening but it's not on the forecast so who knows we'll see um but i'm gonna get the cart over here I've been digging up some grass around some of the plants that I planted a while back, trying to get uh, get them all cleared away. So just doing a little bit of clearing, nothing too crazy by hand, and then the rest I'll come in and do with the tractor. So you can see like this one hasn't been done, you can see how bad, you know, this is basically after a year because I did it last year and the grass just comes in and it's it's hard to manage you know it's hard to keep it up that's why I try to do things like this where everything's mulched you know you come in and just clear everything get it all away from the plants and then it's easy to come in and just weed some of the stuff you know here and there so uh, this has mostly been weeded a couple times this year that area up front still needs a decent amount of weeding but yeah it's just all a lot of time you know so you can see everything's struggling right now with the lack of water but uh yeah so just been digging around and then putting that mexican sunflower down you know getting that mulch layer and then also doing the chop and drop so it really helps as you can see going to help retain some of that moisture as well as help feed it so really nice so yeah i got this this card off facebook marketplace used and uh, i got these new wheels and tires for them they're nice because they are not pump tires they are just solid tires so you never have to worry about punctures so that's a big plus right I was thinking about it, and, you know, it's a little bit cheaper to get the, the tires with the tubes that pump up and all that, but uh, I don't want to ever have to deal with that. So for an extra, I think it was $20 or something like that, I got no more issues. So, <laughs> and you know, uh, doing it by myself, you know, the least amount of maintenance on things, the better. So an extra 20 bucks, totally worth it. So I'm just uh, bringing this grass right here, bringing it over to this pile. I've got little uh, compost piles going kind of like all around the property. So when I clean stuff up, I'll make nice little uh, <clears throat> make nice little mounds like this. one I think this is a uh, never know it could be 
or one of the local farms blown in, but I think that that might be, wow, that root system is <laughs> long. Um, oh, what's that? Soda apple, which is an invasive. So I think that's what that is. So I'm just going to pull it just in case. So yeah, just take all this grass, chuck it in here, and then I use the tractor to flip it over and flip the whole pile on top. So I do a I've been doing like a couple plants every day or two. Don't have too many more left to do, which is nice. And then I can come in with the tractor and kind of finish that area over there. So I've been working on that for a long time. When I first started it, I was doing it all by hand before I had the tractor. So I was digging out lines for the pathways and everything and literally <laughs> digging it all out by hand. I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures in so you guys can see that. Uh, that was a long process. Uh, when we first got here, as I said in the last video, and it was just all grass. So I brought all my plants. We moved from a couple hours south down in St. Pete. And I had like a, a little mini food forest on the side of our home there. And... Uh, they were just gonna tear it all up anyway. So I dug up practically every single plant and tree and brought them all here. And so whenever we got here, I just needed to go, ooh, kites. You can see the, the bird, it's a kite. And they're really cool, really cool. We've got a decent amount of them out here. We also have bald eagles, um, turkey vultures, all kinds of cool wildlife so as we see them I'll, I'll be sure to show you but, but yeah when we first got here I just had to get stuff in the ground and so that's why there's things that are still just in you know the, the grass areas so everything along the, the fence line and everything all just got planted directly into the grass which isn't ideal but you know how it goes <laughs> and eventually we got I got all the grass out and I've been clearing and making pathways and all that kind of stuff so eventually when this all grows up it would be really nice so yeah I've been doing a lot of it right through here as you can see we'll get into that more eventually <sighs> lots of work out here lots of work I took down the entire length of fence across the uh, front of the property, 660 feet of fence. Well, actually, I have about 30 feet of fence just on the other side of uh, the gate still. <laughs> so once I get that, it'll be 660, but yeah. Eighth of a mile, took all that fencing down. I've got video for all this kind of stuff. I'll, I'll definitely have to make videos I have been taking some video here and there um, as I've been doing stuff I just haven't made it a huge priority because like I was saying with the anxiety but also it's just so busy there's always something to do I mean there's oh, there's so much in here to do <laughs> so much in here out there everywhere always something so yeah, and the kids are getting to the age where they can help out more, so that's a big plus. Yeah, they do help out. They put away their laundry, and they help put away the dishes and stuff like that, so that's definitely helpful. But soon enough, they'll be able to do the laundry and wash the dishes, and <laughs> that'll be great. <laughs> so, all right, I'm here. I'm going to get set up on the tripod and start working.
think you guys will get a kick out of this. I didn't notice this until this morning whenever I was watering because I got all these out at night as you saw, but <laughs> check that out. I mean, that's a decent sized little potato there. And I mean, <laughs> he's just chilling there. Life will find a way, right? Now let's let's pull him up here. <laughs> How cool is that, right? And we'll have to get him in a pot. Yeah, too cool. All right, pot here. Oh my gosh. dry I mean look at that it's just coming out of the holes I can't even use that yet <laughs> I gotta get some water in there and it's uh, basically hydrophobic because it will not hold water in that condition so that's, <clears throat> that's what I have to do whenever I'm making all the uh, all the plants. I use these tubs and as I'm doing it, I'll just water it down and get it soaked in there. You can see it just sits there. Just barely will go down. Just pools. And then eventually it just finally you know sucks it in but it's pretty crazy you know you put a whole ton of water in it and then you uh mix it up a little bit and then well, where'd the water go <laughs> it's kind of crazy you're like i swear i put a gallon in there and it just disappears so it takes like multiple multiple times of putting water in here to really get it to soak up and Make it malleable and, and workable because look see, it's just powder right literally right under the top layer see just powder so it doesn't really like soak in well so you have to get it like this you know you let it pool in some of the corners and stuff and it'll get down in there and you just work it around work it around and like I said you get all that worked and where'd it go? <laughs> so yeah, it just takes a lot of water to get it usable. So I'll do that here in a minute. I will just put him in some water here with those uh, Fakahatchee grass starts that I need to get potted up today. And I will finish putting these away. So, then, right, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Yeah. Did you get it all the way? Nope, you went the other way. See, this way, like a cock. Yeah, to the right. Right is tight. That's open, closed. There's a snail in this. Yeah, did you take it off the, off the sign? Yeah. Yeah, there's a snail. Oh, wait. Oh, no snail. Oh, it's empty. But there was one at one time. I wonder Isn't what cool? it looked like. Well, you don't get to see the whole snail. A lot of it's in the shell. Right? And they're itty bitty for that little size. Itty bitty little snails. That would be like a baby one or something. Maybe. You because know. some big ones maybe have like big cells. That could be. There are definitely some big snails out there. Yeah, because they definitely have. 
Did you drop it? Yep. <laughs> you found it. I got my helper Evelyn with two N's. All right? How do you spell your name? E-V-E-L-Y-N-N-K-E-N-N-E-D-Y. Oh, yeah. You got it. Smartest little five-year-old ever. You and your little blonde streak. Do you mind if you put this in your pocket? I don't want to put it in my pocket. Well, you'll put it in there. <laughs> All right, so you're going to help me take this stuff in? Mm -hmm. All right, so where does that stuff go? That goes on your head, that's for sure. <laughs> and then that'll go inside, right? Mm -hmm. And you can get the small chair. Mm -hmm. That'd be awesome. And I will get the bags. For the other two chairs, and we'll take them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a pretty good day yesterday. Uh, we didn't sell a lot of plants. I mean, we did decent. We sold all the tomatoes that we brought. Uh, we sold a few of the Lago spinach. Um, we sold most of the passion flower vine that we brought, which was four out of five. They go over here, babe. And um, what else? We sold a few other things, but not a lot. Uh, blue spur flower, the toilet paper plant, sold a few of those. But um, we didn't, I didn't expect it to be too busy. It wasn't very busy because uh, Chief Lynn also had their uh, yearly watermelon festival. So uh, they shut down the road, even like right out in front of the uh, farmer's market to do a uh, parade and all that kind of stuff. So I, didn't, I honestly didn't expect it to be too crazy. And that's kind of good though, because we're not gonna be in that spot going forward. We'll be up in the front and this was nice because it was kind of like last minute let's get the trash out of here babe um but yeah it was like kind of last minute and um i didn't have any pictures printed up or anything else so we can open these up and put some of the trash in there no nope. <laughs> make the trash there we go um, but so this way, next week, whenever we're in our actual spot, watch this. <laughs> so when we're in our, our, uh, real spot, our future permanent spot, that will, I'll, I'll have, uh, stuff printed up so I can show pictures to everyone whenever they ask without having to try to flip through my phone and stuff. Because that gets annoying after a time. You know, just for people. They don't want to sit there and wait and then look at a little baby picture and stuff. So I'll print up some stuff and I'll go down to the local print shop and get it uh, laminated and whatnot. And I'll uh, make up some plant IDs. Those are bad berries. You do not want to eat those. Those are a nightshade. So what that means is those are... Uh, toxic for you most of them tomatoes are also a nightshade but those are edible right mm -hmm. those ones are not so do not eat those ones yep. well, they, could kill you. they could kill you so that's why you don't want to do that you have to be very careful with plants right and what you eat mm -hmm. you only eat what dad tells you right mm -hmm. that's right Tomatoes, yeah. Eat high That's correct. Um, all kinds of stuff, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, we're gonna get that stuff all all set up for next week, so that'll be good. So, for right now, I'm gonna finish this up and uh, get started on the rest of the thing. So, we'll do 
uh, we'll do the next video. We'll, I'll start that here in just a little bit. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Um, let's see. We're going to do a, a positive thing. Let's see. Kind of goes along with uh, the last video of keep moving forward, but at the same time, this one is keep smiling. Um, if you see, like in the video, uh, just trying to stay happy and positive and joking and smiling and you know all that kind of stuff it is really important, and it makes a difference in your life too you will notice it if you're actually trying to be positive and, and happy and stuff it rubs off and then other people start smiling it helps you stay smiling so keep smiling thanks guys oh it's raining it's raining it's really really raining it's raining it's raining Look around, it's raining. It's just a little rain, but we'll take it, take it, rain. Yes, please, rain. I love the rain. Gonna run in the rain, because I don't care. I love the rain. Oh, yes, yes. Get on the plants. Plants love the rain. Give them rain. Water, water, water. <laughs> it's not gonna rain for long, it looks like, but we'll take it. Rain, rain everywhere, rain, rain, yes we care. Oh! <laughs>